Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Hakuna La Planta. My name is Kevin, and today I'm going to show you, I guess, pretty much my entire Anthurium collection. And similar to the Philodendron New Growth Springtime video that I posted a week ago, I'm going to show you specifically anthuriums that are pushing out new leaves. So, I mean, I'm kind of cheating because it's not my entire collection. I think I have three that I'm not showing in this video. I'll just put them here. Anthurium for Catum. Y'all have seen this. Ooh, it's, ooh. Anthurium esmeral dense. Um, still looks the same. This is a new one. I forget the name, but this is the Anthurium pendulumonum something like that. But yeah, those are three anthuriums right now that are not pushing out new growth. So your time will come and I'll showcase you another time. The other ones are pushing out either new growth, new flowers. Ooh. And I think I have, let me count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there are seven and I'm really excited to show you guys the new leaves. Like mentioned in the philodendron video, it is springtime and these plants, they're just going off. And I mean, they were going off in the winter, but like now they're going off. Anyways, before I start this video, if you like these kind of videos and you like my content, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram. I post plant pictures every single day. Okay, let's get on with the video. So I guess we have to talk about this one. <laughs> um, so this plant is a first plant. This is the Anthurium decipens or decipiens, formerly known as salgarens. And I mean, I don't know if that's correct information, but I'm gonna go with that. But this is the new leaf, guys. You can see that she is not fully hardened off. And like, let's do a head test, please. Whoa, oh my God, I love this. Look at this, wow. So this plant is probably my easiest to care for anthurium, I would say. Um, definitely, I'm seeing a difference in care between the velvet leaf anthuriums and ones that are not velvet leaf. But yeah, I just love, the thing I love about this plant is just, I think it's called the sinus over here. And as the plant matures, um, this space gets larger and it just like looks amazing. I think the leaf before this is smaller. Yeah, definitely smaller. <laughs> This is crazy. I'll talk more about this plant in a future video, but I'll just quickly put a picture here. This is when I got her a year ago, and you could see that the leaves are more of a signature heart shape, and they were like this small, like it is crazy. So the first plant again, guys, is the Anthurium decipens. Okay, moving on to the second plant. So the second Anthurium is a hybrid. This is the and I'm still a little skeptical, but this plant was sold to me as a Anthurium Magnificum crossed with Regal. So oh, can we just, this leaf, like we can see, it's not fully hardened off, but she is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm looking at the screen off to the side a lot instead of the actual camera, I'm sorry but I'm just like looking at the leaf. This is insane. So I got this anthurium with one leaf. I think it was in, I think it was the fall. Was it the fall? Anyways, and <laughs> it had this leaf. I know this leaf looks kind of, you know, like it's gone through a lot of stuff, but thankfully she is pushed out two leaves so here's one over here oh my god <laughs> so that's one and now a new leaf over here a few things about this plant and i'll talk about it more with my other velvet leaf anthuriums i was experiencing this thing where i mean you could kind of see it here but not so much you'll see better examples with the other ones but there was a lot of like I don't know, like crispinesses and yellowing on the edges. And and I was scared that I was over fertilizing it um, with my hydroponic solution. So you could see that she's in Lishu's a pond right now in a self-watering pot. And I mean, she has since pushed out this leaf. 
This leaf over here was when it was in LECA and this one grown in palm. And just a bonus guys, this plant is pushing out a flower like right over here. Okay, right over here. <gasps> Whoa. So yeah, that's exciting. Oh my gosh. I know nothing about anthurium flowers. So um, we're just gonna let it exist and we're gonna just enjoy the experience, enjoy the ride. But yeah, I do have to say that this plant stays this color for a while and then it fades more to a green. And it doesn't show on camera, but there's still hints of like burgundy I think like down here, like maybe if I move it a little bit, but you could see a little bit. They usually stay this way for a while. And I just think that's so cute. You're so beautiful. Okay, so the second plant, the Anthurium Magnificum crossed with Regal. Okay, so moving on to the third plant. The third plant is the Queen Anthurium. So the new leaf just started coming out, so don't make fun of her. She doesn't have much to show right now, but here she is, guys. So this is the new leaf here. Oh, I'm just so happy. So back with, oh my God, where are my words? From what I was saying about the other velvet leaf hybrid, um, this is what I was talking about. So this is the oldest leaf. You could see the crispinesses and, you know, the yellowing. This leaf was the next one. And then this one here is showing signs of it, but um, still looking okay. Oh my God. Queen Anthurium leaves are just so pretty. Oh my God. I love this. Is this the thumbnail? And honestly, I don't necessarily know the reason. I do have a few theories and I'll just say them quickly not to bore you. The first one, I only use tap water with my velvet leaf anthuriums and all my plants. The second thing that I think it might be is basically in hydroponics, apparently calcium magnesium deficiencies are very like prevalent, is it the word prevalent? And specifically when you're growing plants indoor passive hydroponically. So apparently if you don't have enough airflow, Oh, I'm forgetting if it's calcium or magnesium. One of those, um, the leaves don't move and therefore the calcium or magnesium doesn't make it to the tips of the plant. And so it results in this fooling you into thinking that it's um, over fertilization. So yeah, it could be that. It could be the flip side, which is I am definitely over fertilizing. The fourth thing I guess is air circulation. I guess it ties into the second point. Anyways, I'm rambling. We'll just see. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna experiment because I don't want to blame it right away on one thing. I like to have, I guess, hypotheses. I don't know. I'm just gonna see what happens. Anyhow, the third plant is the Anthurium. Weraquianum. Okay, so moving on to the fourth plant. This plant is so underrated and I don't think I've showcased it enough on my channel, but this is the Anthurium Moodinum. Is it Moodinum? Moodianum. Whoa. Okay, so these leaves are this like red, oh my god, like blood <laughs> kind of color. Uh, this is the newest leaf. Let's just showcase that first. I can't get over this. Obviously there's an artificial light just making it more glossy than it is, but it is, it is glossy though. You're glossy. But man, when these leaves come out, they're just so red and so glossy. Like even the one before that is still kind of in that state. I mean, it's fully hardened off, but like, whoa, like you could even see in the veining, it is bright red. These leaves stay this color for a while and you could even see like, let's go in order. So <laughs> this is the oldest leaf. It's also the most green. Then after that, this one is a deeper green. This is the second oldest. Moving on to the next one, very deep, deep green. And then this one and then the newest. So it's just such an interesting gradient of colors when you go from the oldest to the newest leaf. And like these three leaves right now are just 
it's just everything. Next to the decipins, um, this plant is kind of the same care. Like, I want to say it's really easy. But yeah, she is giving me Bloody Mary vibes and I'm just living. So again, the fourth plant is the Anthurium Moodinum. Okay, moving on to the fifth plant. The fifth plant is my Anthurium Crystal Hope. Okay, so <laughs> she's in a bucket, um, but this is my Anthurium Crystal Hope so she is living she's doing that thing like what i said before she's sitting on the floor right now and she doesn't have a lot of air circulation but let me show you oh can y'all see it so first just because it's the topic of the video let's just show you the new growth beautiful here and there's it out oh my god <laughs> dramatic um, the second one here, so cute. And then there's another one down there and there is a flower. Can you see that? This plant didn't really do anything over the winter just because it had an inflorescence before. I'll put a picture here. I think a lot of the energy was channeled into that flower. And so she didn't push out new leaves until like chopped it off. And now she has three that are just, oh, they are gorgeous. This plant is like insane. Okay guys, so the fifth plant is the Anthurium Crystal Hope. Okay, so the sixth plant is the Anthurium, what are you? The Anthurium Radicans Dressleri, Dresslari? But I've had this plant for a while. It was one of my first Anthuriums. Um, this is a new leaf here so beautiful and then I think there's another one yeah this one so pretty she also has a flower guys look at her she's just doing her thing but I think guys okay so I got this as one plant it was growing a lot and then I propagated it uh, just by like cutting up the stem just because there was a ton of offshoots so I'm pretty sure there's four plants in here and then I have another one in pond in the bedroom um, but yeah, I mean, so pretty. You could see that like, she's a pretty full plant and she is another one of my easy plants. There's not much to say about this plant. Um, this plant kind of like thrives on neglect because I tend, I know it's really bad y'all, but I tend to forget about this plant just because of where it's situated in my plant room. But I mean, again, another beauty. Okay, so the sixth plant is the Anthurium Radicans Dress Dressleri. Okay, so the last one, the seventh Anthurium that is pushing out new growth, guys, is my Anthurium Crystallinum Crossed with Magnificum. Ooh, okay, so I posted a video. If you haven't watched it, I propagated this plant into like two to three pieces and they all survived i think there's one in my prop box let's not talk about her yet um but so pretty so again there's two plants in here she is in the shoes upon right now and so this is a new leaf gorgeous and then this one over here is a brand new leaf oh my god she's just starting to harden off she is so cute I like cannot wait till this plant gets big because like, oh, these leaves are just so pretty in the veining. I know they're very, I know this pretty much looks like a crystallinum. I mean, it's part of what this plant is, but so cute. And you could see like there's tons of, I don't want to spill the pond everywhere, but there's just like, that was one of the first leaves. This leaf is also so cute like oh again i cannot wait for this plant to take off during the spring and summer anyways guys the last anthurium is the anthurium crystallinum crossed with magnificum okay guys i guess that's it just looking back it's just so amazing a year ago I didn't even think like anthuriums would be a thing because they intimidated me so much. And really, 
I just needed to throw myself into it and just experience, experience, yeah, experience growing them. But yeah, if you like these kind of videos, just let me know in the comment section below. And if you have any questions for me, you could also leave them in the comment section below and um, anything to add about the anthurium issues with my velvet leaf anthuriums, the crispinesses. And I mean, it could be normal for that to happen. I don't know. But yeah, guys, I am, I'm so grateful. Um, I'm so grateful for you guys. And it's like really just, I'm a little over 3000 subscribers. And I mean, I'm just so stunned by all the support from you guys. And I obviously know that I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. So, so much gratitude to you guys. I'm so thankful. Y'all are the best. Ugh. It's just so nice sharing my love of plants with you guys and just, it's, oh, oh my God, we got a little too deep there. Ooh. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys. If you've made it to the very end, thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.